Yeah, this is the little bonus thing I talked about. It's called Carp Diem. I don't know how to pronounce that. Car Diem. Carp Diem. I don't know. Uh, it's a little visual novel. And when I said that I promised you that this will not last long, I meant it. I 100%ed that game a couple of years back and it literally took me 12 minutes. So if you'd rather read a short visual novel for yourself, then just have this name, which is displayed in a big way right now, be your call. This game is on Steam, it's free and it's very, very short. So if you'd rather play this yourself or read this yourself, you can um, do that before continuing watching this VOD or stream or whatever. I will now start to read this to you. And there are a couple of choices in this that whoever watches right now can do for me if they would like. Again, very, very short. Incredibly short. And I figured we could might as well 100% this game again because again privately 100%ing this game took me 12 minutes I want to reiterate 12 minutes so with that I will start a new game Young is the name of a player character I'd prefer it if you could Name yourself, but since you can't, I'll take this. She's late. I've experienced some problems lately, and we weren't able to hang out in a while. I managed to get things working so I can spend time with her. But it's only temporary, and I don't know how long it will last. Hey, Young! Sorry, did I keep you waiting? Yeah, for about half an hour. The guy's supposed to say not at all here, you know? I didn't know that. I was notified about this change in society. They didn't bother because they know you're not going to follow it anyway. Damn right I don't. <laughs> so where you wanna go? And this is the first choice of this game. Where do we wanna go here? Do you want to go to the mall, the park, or the arcade? Getting stood up. <laughs> well, we're not getting stood up, but okay, this is the choice. Mall, park, or arcade? I'll take the first thing. Okay, mall. How about the mall? Definitely my idea. <laughs> wow, didn't expect you to... I don't talk. Wow, didn't expect you to suggest going to the mall. How do you pronounce? I, I know how to pronounce, but why do you use a word like this? This is scavish. <laughs> didn't expect you to suggest going to the mall. Why is that? Because you get bored easily when you're shopping with me. Yeah, but this time I have stuff I wanna buy. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Duct tape to shut you up. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Best line in the game right there. Oh my, when did you become so kinky? But whatever you're into, I guess. You know you like it. I know I want ya. Wasn't that a song some time ago? She laughs as she pulls me towards the mall. It takes a lot of time, energy and money to shop with I. Normally, I would avoid the shopping mall like a plague, but I'll make today an exception. Wow, they're having like a big sale. We just stepped into the shopping mall's entrance and she's already pointing at a clothing store. Let's check it out. She pulls me towards the store, then proceeds to keenly examine every part of every clothing, like a detective looking for evidence. She picks up a white dress with flower designs on the bottom half. One sec. She heads to the fitting room to try it on. How does this look? It's hard for me to answer this question because the sprite wears the exact same thing. 
I'm the type of guy who would wear anything that fits my size. So whenever she asks me this question, I rely on the magic word cute. I think it's cute. She looks at the mirror. Really? Isn't it a bit plain? I guess it's white. I touch my chin with my right hand as I try to reanalyze the clothing. It is definitely made of fabric. I find it cute. I'll take it. She goes inside the fitting room to take it off. Then she walks to the cashier to pay for it. Is that all you need from the store? Pretty much, they don't have much on anyway. Then we continue to walk around the mall. She's like a chunk of steel while stores are strong magnets. Whenever we are walking, she slowly strays towards the store, sometimes without her even knowing it. Hey Yang, this looks good on you! She holds up a shirt with a spider print. I don't really need no clothes. What is this Spider-Man? I'll buy it for you. I'm not wearing that. I hate Spider-Man apparently. <laughs> she picks another shirt up. There, I'll buy myself one as well so we match. I'll wear it with you. That's not the problem. I know it's no use once she makes up her mind. While she's paying for the shirts, my eyes wander around and see a computer show. A uh, store. A computer show. <laughs> Holy shit. That's the best name for a computer store ever. Let's head there when you're done. I point to it with my thumb. Oh yeah, you did say you needed to buy something. Yeah, I'm gonna see if, uh, if they have cheap parts there. Especially hard drives. The program I'm developing is bigger than I expected. She silently follows me into and around the computer store. Just a few seconds and I'm ready to pay for my items. That was fast. That's how you're supposed to shop, dumbass. Nah, you're not even checking if they work or not before you buy them. That's what warranties are for. I go to the cashier and pay. This is the best storyline ever. Where do you want to go next? I saw a toy store over there, let's check it out. We enter the toy store and I immediately head to the plush area, because of course you... Look at all those cuties, I want all of them. Go for it, as long as you have money. What? Well, I thought you were paying. Keep dreaming. I'm kidding, but seriously though, they're so cute. I wonder what I should get. While she's busy picking a plushie, I head to the next aisle where the keychains are. I saw a spider keychain, I have a thing with, with spiders apparently. <laughs> Sugar mom. <laughs> ah, she would love this. I quickly go to the cashier to pay for it. Then walk back to I, who still can't decide what to get. Hey I, I bought this for you. I show her the keychain. That's so cute, you didn't have to. It's fine, it wasn't that expensive anyway. She looks really happy about the cheap keychain I got her. While walking, I see the bookstore. Hey, let's stop there for a bit. I don't know you like reading books. Well, not those kinds of books. I'm actually starting to get into cooking, so... I see you're looking for cookbooks. Yeah. Well, let me tell you about uh, what kind of cooking apps are there. Can I get a sponsorship out of this? <laughs> well, what kind of dishes do you like? I'll try to cook for, for you sometime. This. Wow, oh, chill, why don't we start with bacon and eggs? Those are way easier to pronounce. Why even bother asking then? She smiles as she takes three beginner cookbooks from the shelf. I'm starting to get hungry actually. Oh yeah, I just realized I'm kinda hungry now too. We head to the mall's food court. What do you want? Whatever you're getting, I'll just share with you. Alright, find us a spot and I'll buy food. I go to buy a large serving of maki rolls and sushi. There's probably enough for four people. Whatever, Aki likes these anyway. Uh, Aki? I. That's uh, kind of a lot, don't you think? I'm gonna have you eat all of these. I want you big. <laughs> Holy shit. No way I'm gonna eat all of that. Just kidding. But these do look yummy. I might eat more than I intend to. I realize how hungry I am when I finish the whole serving within five minutes. Wow, you were that hungry? Apparently. I sit back and let my stomach bloat. I just had a bucket of lard as well. Where do you want to go next? Let's see. How about the arcade? Alright. 
As we walk inside the arcade, her eyes are filled with amazement and excitement. Hey Young, look! She points at a crane game. I has always loved cute things. I want that big spider plushie. Why do I keep running into spiders today, I thought to myself, as she finds spiders extremely cute for some reason. I try to reach for a coin in my pocket. Wait, let me do it. I want to get it on my own. She pulls out some coins and starts playing. We can tell at this point that this is a fantasy game. The plushie has all her attention. At first, true try barely have... Oh, I'll try again. Her first try barely touches the thing she wants. <laughs> what were you even trying to get? Hush, let me concentrate here. She manages to grab it, but still no luck. Ah, and fell. She inserts another coin and tries again. And again. And again. This crane is broken. Of course it's not. Here, let me get it for you. I'm not good at crane games myself, but I've got to show off somehow. Got it. Thank goodness. Wow, how did you do that? Easy. I pray to all gods I know of. Of course I can't say that. It's all in the timing. It was a fluke, right? Of course not. I immediately stop when I see her holding out a coin. I will just keep quiet before she asks me to do it again. I head for the big plushie and she hugs it tight. There are some racing games over there, wanna try it? No way you fun of those, I'll just watch you. Okay, I will just play a couple of rounds. Not a big fan of racing games either. I just like their setup in the arcade. They are almost completely enclosed and the seat tilts according to the game. It feels real. So bad. <laughs> Miss Independent, I know, right? I stands behind me and watches as I play. As expected, I lost the first round horribly. Wow, young, are you even trying? Bystanders don't get to talk. She plays with her plushie as I continue my game. Then again, I lost. Ah, just as I thought, it isn't really my thing. Only they had this kind of setup for completely different games. I chuckles as if to mock me. I think you just suck at whatever game it is. Is that why you can never win against me? Oh yeah, why don't we settle this once and for all? She points at the fighting game arcades. I love playing these when I was a kid, so I pr so prepare to get your butt kicked. I accept your challenge, Missy Independent. Finally, a game I can play with her. <laughs> it's not really a date if I'm the only one having fun, right? Practice game, I don't know the buttons yet. I also have not played this in a long time. We sit across each other and her voice is all I can hear. Spent the first round trying to figure out what every button does. After trying some combinations, my character accidentally hits, her, hits hers. No fair, don't hit me yet! Hurry up, I can't wait anymore. Just one sec, how do I... Oh, never mind. Alright, I got it. Come at me anytime, bro. Battle begins and we got so into it that I forgot how many rounds we did. But we are more or less evenly matched. I win half the time and she wins the other half. More importantly, I get to see a side of her I rarely see. Beep! Why did you do that? Oh, why did I do that? But you as well. Strangely enough, it's the side of her I find the cutest. The buttons are not listening to me. I only see her like this when I play with her at home. Which only happened once or twice before. <laughs> I won! Be that! Sucker! I just try to keep my laughter in while listening into her. <laughs> Uh, we play one round after another. Hey, no fair, I wasn't ready. The more she plays, the better she gets. See, I've beaten you three consecutive times already. Screw this, I'm out of here. She laughs and stands up to stretch. Uh, she sees the poster on the wall about the firework display happening tonight. Hey, she looks at me pointing at the poster. I know, I see it. Can we go? Sure, I also know a spot around there perfect for watching it. Really? Yeah, they do this show every year. Awesome, I'm excited. It takes a bit of walking to get there, plus uh, to go up the hill. Sun just set when we arrived, so it was starting to get dark. Good, it's just us here. Wow, you're right, this is a good view, right? We sit on the bench and wait for the show. Not long after, dots of light shoot towards the sky. Slowly fade and bloom like flowers of different colors. It looks beautiful, trust us. We couldn't do it justice with our graphics. The cheers of the crowd at the foot of the mountain can be heard. Ice face is filled with happiness just watching the fireworks. I wish this could last forever, but I'm running out of time. She looks at me with a sad look. It's time, isn't it? Almost. Don't worry, it won't be long. It's fine. You really shouldn't bother hanging out with me. Don't say that. After all, I'm just... 
Have you heard of the Turing test? It's an evaluation of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligence. Whether it can act or speak like a human. But however good a machine becomes, however indistinguishable it is from humans, it will never be an actual human being. Just like I, no matter how good her program is, and no matter how much I denied myself, she will never be real. We aren't in the same dimension or reality. She will continue to dwell inside the artificial world that I created. Ah, the program crashed again. As expected, I couldn't go on any longer than that. I really need to come up with a stable fix soon. What am I doing with my life? Congratulations, we reached the ending. <laughs> now, be real, did you see that plot twist coming? This plot twist is basically everything this game has. Now, um, those three options you uh, had there, we will jump back there, actually. Because, um, first I want to show how many languages this game has. For as short as it is, they surely include everyone. Oh, not everyone, but this is quite a bit. We will now skip scene messages and, um, yes. We really don't need to save. So, let's skip a bit. Now we're back at the option now. We did see this, didn't we? This is because um, you make one choice at the beginning and each of those choices is linked with another one and depending on uh, which one you chose the dialogue will be a bit different. So right now let's go to the park. Let's just chill here for a bit. You're just too lazy to walk aren't you? You can carry me if you want that's cool too. Nah it's fine here let's enjoy the park. You're just too lazy to carry me aren't you? I guess that's one thing in common. There's a good spot to sit. I'm surprised it's a bit chilly despite the sun being directly on top of us. Yeah, nice weather indeed. Also, the sun is always over us. It's so nice outside and you still like to stay indoors the whole day. Outdoors is nice, but indoors is nicer. She giggles a bit. How have you been? Same old, same old. I bet you still only eat instant food, don't you? More or less. Come on, young. What nutrition can adding hot water give you? It's fine, you're learning how to cook for me anyway. Sure, I'll serve you my specialty dish. Burnt rice balls? Yes, every day. You'd kill me. We haven't seen each other in so long that I have a lot of things to share and ask. And I don't even know where to start. Are you still living in that torn down apartment? Yeah, but it's a bit better now that they renovated a few things. I think my greatest worry about that place is the people though. Most of them are old people. They should move to a safer place, especially if they're living alone. One good thing about I is that she can be talkative. It saves me the trouble of trying to keep the conversation alive. I just ask a question and she'll manage to talk for hours about it. How about work? How's it been? Total mess and probably will continue to be. Our boss gives us impossible tasks and most of us are pretty much fed up with it. A lot have quit already due to that and the rest are demotivated. And there's Troy, my co-worker, who would slack off until the last minute. He's such a troublesome guy, it makes things harder for us. Sometimes he would even ask our other co-workers to do his part. I listened to her while noticing how much her expression changed since mentioning that Troy guy. There's one time we got two processors all mixed up so bad because of him. Our boss was furious at the time. Then Troy, she paused mid-sentence and stared at me. What? Oh, I see. What is it? You're jealous, aren't you? It's written all over your face. Huh, what are you talking about? Anyway, so what did that Troy guy do? See, the tone in your voice gives it away. Leave me alone already. Come on, admit it. I stare at her and wait for her to finish laughing. What happened to the job offer you got from the other company? Oh, that, I turned it down. I need to be relocated for that job. I don't really want a new settlement and lifestyle for just a little bit of increasing income. It's not worth it. It's fine, I bet you get another off job offer real soon. Maybe even closer here, who knows. Aww, you miss me that much already? She really enjoys making me admit embarrassing things. Yes, so can I try your burnt rice balls already? We continue talking and laughing about random things and totally lost track of time. After a while the conversation slows down and she stands up. One sec, where are you going? I'll just get her something to eat. Before I knew it, it's already noon. Time really flies when I'm with her. But a takoyaki! 
I also saw a mochi stand on my way back, so I bought some. You like those, don't you? It's great, thanks. How much do I owe you? It's not much, don't worry about it. But if you insist, then I guess you owe me a favor. Okay, what favor? I haven't thought of it yet, I'll save it for later. As long as it's something I can do. Don't worry, it won't be that bad. She winks at me as she eats a takoyaki. Now I'm worrying about it. I won't ask for something you can't do, you know? That's a lie right there. <laughs> okay, maybe a bit, but not so much. I don't trust you. She laughs as she eats the last piece. When now we're done eating, let's head to the mall. And this is where um, the choice is a bit overlapping. You guys my head and it starts walking towards the mall. This is pretty much what we've uh, seen so far. The dialogue changes a little bit though, depending on which th thing you are, they uh, change the ending a little bit. We're walking around, we overhear people talking about a firework display, alright. Oh, it's that! That's what? They've been doing firework displays this time of year here since I was a kid. See, now all they really change is how you can come to learn about this firework. Really? Can we go? Sure, let's hurry. There's a good spot I know of. Takes a bit of walking and then we're back here. Then it just said when we arrived, so it got dark. And then the ending is the same. Like I said, we're going to 100% this game, so um, let's go for the last one. That will be the quickest one because we already read the arcade. I know a good arcade players. Wanna check it out? Sure, I've never been to an arcade before, so I'm interested. Really? Don't you like gamers? Uh, or, or games, I suppose. Those work too. I do, but I usually play at home. I think you like it there. We'll see. As we walk inside the arcade, our eyes are filled with amazement and excitement. And then the crane game happens. So one thing I actually want to point out there is that they actually clue in that she's an that she's just a computer program. The clue is in her name, because her name is basically AI, which is a uh, wordplay because I is also the Japanese word for laugh. So um yeah. Her um name choice is actually pretty great. The twist is well done as well. But at the same time I feel like there's just not enough here to really warrant a second playthrough. The only reason I do a second playthrough right now is for the stream. But I after the 12 minutes I initially spent with that game, um, there's really not too much to it. They are working on a second one though, which apparently is supposed to be longer. So I will definitely look into that one whenever it drops. Hey Young, let's go grab something to eat. I was just thinking the same damn thing. We go to a small dinner near the arcade. What are you getting? She looks at the menu for a bit. An order of beef, udon and tempura. I guess I'll get the same. We find a table we're waiting for our order. And the first thing she asks is, Where's my food? Looks like playing games really tired I'd out. Tired eye out. Patience is a virtue. Patience won't fill me up. Complaining won't either. And then our order arrives. Oh look, it did! She chomps on her food like there's no tomorrow. It did not take a while for her to finish it. Ah, that was good. Rejuvenated? Definitely. That took all my energy. Well, at least you had fun. Yeah, but we need to pick something less active now. How about the park? I'm cool with that. And then we're back here. She suddenly stops talking. I'll be back. Suddenly the Terminator happened. She stands up and walks toward the lady giving away some kind of flyer. She grabs one and waves it at me as she was walking back. They're having a firework display later, we should see it. Yeah, I know about that, they do that every year. Let's go there before it gets crowded there. Don't worry, no good spot. And then we're back here. So my biggest criticism here is not only that it's very short, because short visual novels can work. Yeah, that's that's actually one for the um, the fact that you only have one point where you can decide something. 
and then not even affect the ending with that makes it a strange case of a kinetic novel. Now what I mean by a kinetic is that this is um, a visual novel that just reads from beginning to end. Normally in a kinetic novel you don't have any choices but since the choice, the one choice you get to make doesn't affect anything, um, I would still say that this is a kinetic one. And also because you get one of the not picked ones and then it just changes how you get to the ending. That's that's really not a lot. Now as I said the game is free. If you still want to check it out after watching this you're more than welcome to. Doesn't take long. As I said playing it privately not reading everything out and uh, pausing to read chat. Um, I just took 12 minutes for me to 100% it. After you played it through once as in uh, seen the ending you get the one achievement this game has. There is one achievement for this game that you get from playing it through once. That means there isn't an incentive to play it again other than to read the additional dialogue. And this is pretty much it. I think as a little bonus this was quite a nice way to end the stream. I thank you all for watching the what or tuning in live. Definitely gonna be back with Moikuri um, next week. I will not be here Saturday, but I will stream Sunday. And yeah, I hope you got something out of this. I definitely need to fix the Binding of Isaac thing, but my standard um, my standard stream setup didn't pick it up, so I needed to do a full screen and that somehow fucked up the resolution. So I'll see what I can do there. I might do a YouTube thing out of it if I can't make it work for Twitch. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you liked it and uh, see you next week. Bye.